Yeah, I mean, when you've only played nine conference games, it's, mm -hmm. it's not a very large sample size. Um, you know, that's why, you know, numbers, uh, y even in our conference play right now, you'll see guys on the other team hitting less than 250 mm -hmm. in the three and four hole. So, um, yeah, I, I, you know, uh, I think Gavin Collins is uh, a great example of that. You know, he's fighting his uh, handmade injury, but I think he's the best hitter or one of the best hitters on our entire club. So. Uh, I think he went into the last night hitting 220, 240, something like that. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't. What we're trying to do is look at the quality of their swing at that time and, and see, you know, how productive they are. Um, you know, you can hit nine line drives in a row and hit zero. Um, and that's why small sample sizes just don't necessarily work for for those kinds of numbers. And conversely, if somebody's hitting 400. You know, that might not be very accurate either. So um, we're going to try and put our best guys in, in the best position to, to help us offensively. Is the decision to go with Lucas because of the short week or you just want to get him out there and pitch? And yeah, I think Lucas around? is just, you know, he's. I think he's one of our best three guys right now. Um, the other thing we didn't want to do is short rest one of our other guys. We haven't had a ton of success in doing that. And, uh, you know, Lucas has been very competitive for us, so we want him to, uh, you know, we think he deserves this opportunity on Thursday night. Does that also leave Vance available for any point this weekend now in a relief role? You know, what we really want to do is see how they respond to left-handed pitching. If you look at their numbers, it's very similar left and right. But uh, we, we want to see how they swing it in our ballpark against a left-handed pitcher. And uh, I'm sure that'll that'll affect our decision a little bit. What kind of challenges does a Thursday night game present, you know, from a scouting and, you know, perspective just getting ready for something like that? Well, I, you know, one of, the, one of the challenges is, you know, if you know you're going to play in Mobile, you know, on a Tuesday night and your kid's going to get in after an extra inning game at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, you know, you, you probably would, would not try and schedule that before a, a Thursday. Um, but, you know, that's just where the schedule came out and the the, uh, the TV schedule comes out long before we, we schedule, um, you know, the midweek games, you know, sometimes two years in advance. So, um, you know, and, I, and I'm sure South Carolina, very similar thing. I think they were at Citadel, if I'm not mistaken. So it's just one of those things you have to – you know, you have to rise to the challenge, and even though your kids are probably a little bit tired, you got to stay on schedule, and you got to, uh, you know, keep competing. To get off to that great start offensively and finally get things going there, how frustrating was it to give up that lead and eventually lose that game last night? Well, you know, we uh, it was kind of a combination of things. You know, we had an opportunity to make a play at shortstop. It was a double play ball. We didn't. We, we had a chance to, you know, we have a ball hit pretty hard at us right at second base. We don't make that play. And both those balls are hit right at us, and we don't get an out in either case. Uh, in the first two innings, that really hurt us. And, uh, you know, I don't think Daniel was at his – Daniel Brown was at his best in the first couple of innings there. And, uh, you know, so the combination of those, those things. You know, I was really proud of our offensive guys that were more aggressive and – um, really got the barrel in a, in a good position. I, I thought the whole game. I thought, you know, again going back to your your point, I, I thought the best swings we took all night are the, run, the innings we didn't score any runs. Uh, Reed Humphreys hit the hardest ball I've seen hit this entire year by anybody. He almost knocked the pitcher's glove off his hand. It, and there's, there's a runner on either second or third base. We're going to score with two outs there, and you don't. You know, and he, he he got himself to a good count and just got a great swing off. And Reed's been working so hard on the swing. We, you know, that's just kind of how the game works. And I thought we had three or four of those uh, during the course of the game. I thought Collins had one at second, you know, right to the second baseman. Um, we had a ton of balls, uh, line drives hit the outfield. I mean, I, I felt like easily with a little little bit of good fortune, we could have scored 12, 13 runs, but we didn't. And uh, that's just kind of how it it worked on that given day. But we could have helped ourselves a lot by just making a couple of plays on the infield. And, uh, and and just not not walking people. We walked eight people, and you just can't do that, and you know, and, and have a legitimate chance to win in in, uh, in high level of baseball. Well, we see Cody Brown in the leadoff spot more and more. Yeah, I think so. Cody Cody obviously played really well last night, and he he really forces the pitcher to to throw a ton of pitches, and his two strike approach is probably the best on our club, and. Uh, you know, he's doing what a player who's been here for three years is supposed to do. He's supposed to, you know, move forward and, and, and put some things together. And, uh, you know, and he has. He's done really well for us. Is the plan still go with uh, Preston on Friday? Yeah, we're going to wait and see how they do uh, versus uh, a left-handed pitcher on, on Thursday. And I, I think that's the one benefit by starting someone, giving him the extra rest and putting our, our Tuesday guy in the Thursday slot, it gives us an opportunity to, to kind of see how they respond to that and make a little bit of a later decision.
uh, means a lot to me. You know, it's something that uh, growing up as a little kid, I've always wanted to throw uh, in the SEC and uh, against some uh, good ball clubs. So it means it means a lot to me to finally get that opportunity to do so. When was, I guess it's been about nine days since you pitched. I mean, just how is that rest you think is going to affect you? Is it going to help you, hurt you? What do you think it's going to do? I've got a few bullpens in, so uh, I think I'll be uh, right on track uh, to hopefully go out and, uh, you know, pitch like I'm capable of pitching. Did you take us to the last couple of days? When did you realize that you weren't going to be pitching in South Alabama and get that start Thursday? Uh, they told me uh, on Sunday to okay. be ready. And uh, so uh, when that happened, uh, when I didn't go in the game on Sunday for relief, I uh, made sure I got a good bullpen in, and uh, they told me just be ready for Thursday. Is it a benefit that it's Thursday and that's one less day you have to worry about waiting? <laughs> I guess so. I guess it could be, um, you know, uh, I guess a couple extra days of rest from uh, Tuesday will probably help, but uh, I think uh, maybe if it's Thursday, uh, my nerves won't get the best of me if I had to wait till Friday. <laughs> With such a short turnaround, how do y'all forget what happened in Mobile last night and just kind of <clears throat> shift your focus to South Carolina? Uh, we just got to take it one game at a time. You know, if we would have won, we still needed to regroup and uh, you know get ready for Thursday. So I think a win or a loss, we have to we have to just play it one one game at a time. And uh, planning out Sunday, have you had a chance to look at South Carolina? Uh, not yet. We're going to do that tonight, and um, uh, definitely be in there for a little while. I haven't seen them. Uh, I haven't seen them yet. So. so you didn't try to you know get advanced scouting. You're just kind of <laughs> handling this normally. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Uh, I wanted to. Uh, see what I could do to help uh, last night with the guys. So uh, I didn't look at them yet. I went uh, looked at uh, Jackson, uh, uh, South Alabama, and um, I'll be uh, ready for uh, South Carolina tonight. After your last couple of outings out there, what do you feel is working well for you now? Uh, working the fastball on both sides of the plate's always been a strong point for me. Um, you know, uh, this year I've been able to uh, locate the off-speed uh, as well. Uh, in and out of the zone, I feel like that's really helped. But uh, me being able to work the fastball on both sides of the plates has uh, been huge for me here lately.